My name is Tim and I'm the creator of DSLR Mania. As you've understood, I'm a DSLR filmmaker and I'm gonna show you how to be a great DSLR filmmaker as well. Well, hello. I'm just testing out the rig, because that's what we're going to do in today's episode. My name is Tim and you're watching DSLR Mania. As you might remember, last time we checked out the lenses. Now it's time for some really hardcore stabilizing. We're going to test out different rigs to see how they perform. First up, we have the Glidecam HD 1000. It's a very heavy Glidecam, but it can deliver awesome results. But I'm not too sure if this is my favorite. But then we have the Mighty Dragonfly. And this is a shoulder rig that works amazing. Just see how I've done it here. I've mounted my camera to get full use of the matte box and the shoulder stabilizing. I can now use this and go around shooting. Really great. Last thing. Sorry guys. Last thing. Last thing we're going to go through is neck sta stabilization. And yes, it's really that easy. It's only you and your physical body that demonstrates stabilization. Imagine that you're driving a car. Yes, I know it sounds silly, but that's how you do it. You do it like this, you see? Almost like driving a car, you know? Yeah, I know it's funny. Well, that was the next stabilizing. And the last thing we're going to check out today is handheld shooting. So here it is really tricky to get a smooth shot. It's all about stabilizing your forearms and that is not always easy. And me myself, I get nervous a lot of times and I might get small trembles when I'm shooting and that is not good for the image quality. And now we're going to go out and check out how these rigs really work. Which one is actually the best when you test them out? Come with me, come. Well guys, it's time for the rigging day and uh, yes, first out as you can see, Glidecam HD 1000. Trying some smooth movements here but uh, I didn't, didn't quite get the hang of it and there was just something I couldn't put my word on. Anyways, the next thing, next steady, it was really awesome and delivered as I wanted. But remember the car movements, you know, as I told earlier. And um, now... I, we're on the smooth handheld. Uh, you see me shaking my hand there a bit. It's to loosen up the forearms. And then I went around trying to get those smooth motions or in action movements I told you about. Anyway, here is the piece we've all been looking at. Dragonfly. Great for selfies as well actually. And uh, here I'm circling the statues trying to get the best shot. Because it can really handle a lot of trembling and uh, movement in the pictures. Anyways, it's adjustable as you can see up and down. You can also adjust the adjustables and then you can do that. And also you have the matte box which can uh, give you a greater opening to lighting or a lowering low length lighting. Wow, just wow guys. I've been out testing the rigs and they're awesome. Especially the Dragonfly shoulder rig. It sits firmly and well on the body and it's easy to, to steer. It's my definite favorite. Second up, we tested the glide cam as well. Ah, didn't really get the hang of it. I, I really must say, I didn't produce the shots I wanted with this one. So, I would let that slide. I wouldn't recommend this. Then, it's the smooth hands. Well, you know, I actually think the smooth hands was the next best thing to use here. I just flexed my forearms and it went really well because when you're going into situations where things happen, you have to be there, run and gun. And the uh, smooth hands work really well. Uh, about the next step is, or the next stabilization, as I said earlier, it's kind of a cheaper dragonfly. And I have to tell that Dragonfly is the best option and Smooth Hands is the second best option when you have to get in there, get in where, where it happens. 
Thank you for watching this episode of DSLR Mania. My name is Tim. Please like, subscribe and comment for more videos later. I'm also on Snapchat, Instagram and Vine. You can find me there. See you later guys.